Welcome back, everybody, to Madden. And you see, I'm already on this Joey Porter screen. Yes, I completed his set. And I didn't even give you a chance to tell me what I should do with all those coins. But it doesn't matter because I did all the journeys. Let me, let me just do this card stuff. 5K and, of course, Joey Porter. I didn't show Andre Reed stats last game. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to show Joey Porter. So yes, I did get Amari Cooper. I finished the whole NFL journey thing, and that leads into my story. But first, here's Andre Reed's stat stuff. And here's Joey Porter's stat stuff. So anyways, yeah, this is the first time I think I've recorded on a weekend. It is the 21st of November right now, and I played the last game on the 18th. So uh, it's, it's mainly because Thanksgiving is around the corner and I know I'm not going to be able to play on that break. So I'm recording early. And also, I was just antsy to get this uh, somewhat new looking team out there because I do have the Amari Cooper and that allows me to put T.Y. Hilton in the slot. He's a great slot receiver because he's so fast. He's like some kind of like a Wes Welker kind of player. I was doing all the journeys and they gave me like uh, obviously they give you packs and stuff. And one of the things they give you is a Legends pack. And my Legends pack just happened to have a Heinz Ward collectible. So I was able to sell that for like, I think it was going for like 40 or 50K, something around that area uh, at the lowest end of the spectrum. Because I really didn't, I don't like waiting on the auction block. I'd rather people buy now my stuff for some reason. And I pulled this Jamie Collins here and he's better than my left outside linebackers and he's zone D. So I said, cool, it works out anyway. And I got the Porter because I said, you know what, with Levante David, I don't really want to use him. Uh, I'd rather sell him. And I said, let me just get this Joey Porter because he's way better. And he's also zone D. And it, uh, it alleviates me of my cognitive dissonance about Levante David. And I ended up selling Mario Williams because he was just way more trash looking deeper into the stats of Michael Bennett. And he's not even zone D. And he only went for like 10K, so whatever. And this was all like yesterday. Like, all these changes literally just happened on my team. So, this is really... I, I played a few solos, like the, the daily Thanksgiving solo. I just finished playing just now. So, like, I, I've had a little bit of time with this team, but I obviously just got the Joey Porter. So, let's see how that goes. Also, finally got rid of Ellington and got this McKinnon in one of those packs. And I looked at his speed. I said, okay, let me try him out. Then I played one solo and he ran off the kickoff really slow. So I'm like, ugh, it's the same situation all over again. Another thing I'm going to do is test out a theory that I have. And this is not the menu I want to be on. I want to test a hypothesis because uh, the, in, in the packs, they give you an X-Factor pack, which gives you an automatic elite badge. And... I was going to put Dansby in the set, honestly, because I don't need three really good middle linebackers and Dansby, obviously the weakest link, but it won't let me because he's a original journey card, so I can't do that. But I'd never use this Randy Gregory because I have Hughes out there all the time, and he's only 83 overall. So I'm just going to test this and see what I get from it. We get another freaking elite tight end. But at least I can sell him. I don't think I could sell, uh, uh, what's his name? I literally just said it, Randy Gregory. But, uh, I, I mean, he's not a bad tight end, but I have Jimmy Graham. And at one point in my ultimate team, I had playmaker Gronkowski and Jimmy Graham. And they kept on giving me a bunch of high gold tight ends. I don't know what it is about this game, me, and tight ends, but whatever. Hopefully he gets something on the auction block because Gregory wouldn't have got me nothing so technically I guess this is a win-win but then again the badge would have gone for like 25k or so or something like that so I don't know and he's not even going for that damn much so I don't know maybe I'll run into another elite badge and then I have throw him back in the exchange and see what I get from there I don't know Here's my lineups that I'm promising to show before games now. Um, next thing I have to upgrade has to be get rid of all the golds left in my lineup, like the fullback and the center and right guard. But also, I will actually be looking at quarterbacks. They go for way more than 70K, the, the ones better than Jameis at least. So I will be looking just in case. And here's the defense. Next thing I want to upgrade is definitely 
the strong safety position. I was I was really about to get a Cam Chancellor because he's zone D. He's really tall. He's Cam freaking Chancellor. But he goes for a lot because I think he's like 91 overall. And also, I kind of want to get these uh, defensive tackles switched up, but they, it's not really a necessity. It's on the bottom of my board. And the last thing I do want to switch up is actually get a freaking kicker that can kick longer than like 50 yards or at least like straight up 50, not, not even like 58 yards or like 50 yards or wind against them. I need a decent kicker. And I might as well put Barrett in the gap left by Gregory because Collins is starting. But these guys are both um, three, four um, defensive ends, as is Porter, actually, I think. So either way, I'm running a 4-3 with three, four linebackers. And they got speed, so it all works out. Who knows, one of, these day, one of these days I might actually switch to 3-4, let my ends do some work with only one tackle, and get two linebackers in here that are both elites. Instead of two um, gold defensive tackles, I'd switch it up for one elite linebacker. It might work out. I might look into that. I might try that out with solos. I'm really waiting on the game that I lose. I am, like, pining for it. But here we go, going for the first round bye in this game. All 88 everything. But I'm, I'm seriously waiting for the day I lose because I, I just need to get it out the way and get the stigma. Oh, he's already got the Heinz Ward. He's got the 24-hour Antonio Brown and a legend Walter Jones. Uh, first thoughts, we finally get a somewhat evenly matched team. His might be a little bit better than mine, but maybe my lower cards are better than his lower cards. Who knows? But, uh... I was honestly looking into getting that Heinz Ward, but he costs way too much now, and I will definitely have to wait at, at least a good month or two before I even look at his stuff. If everything's going for like 40k, I'd rather wait till it goes for like 5k, like Porter and Reed. President Cart 766. He has a mic in, but my mic ain't in, and I put my TV on mute when I play, so if he's talking, you'll hear it, but I don't hear nothing. It, those pants are definitely a glitch. I literally just watched a Chris Moo video where the Green Bay Packers had those pants, actually. I, is that flashback to Sean? No, it's not because he's number 11. He's got John Elway, Calvin. Oh, my gosh. I need every bit of my corners to perform this game. Every bit of them. And he's hurry up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, first play. Oh, aggressive catch justice, baby. Aggressive catch justice, baby. Let's go. This is basically me getting the kickoff right now. A great field position. And I'm going to already run shoe clock on this guy because fuck him. I'm scared of his team, damn it. Also, right now, I'm by myself, so my internet should be fire. If there's any lag, it's got to be him because literally, literally the only thing on this internet is this PS4 right here. Let me audible out of that one. Cause you got nobody in the box, Chief. Nobody in the box. I swear, niggas don't be playing niggas who run the ball. I swear it. This guy's a hurry up guy, and he's passing it all up the field, like aggressive catching passes, high passes. I guess I'm just a modern marvel of the Madden universe. You always gotta stay calm in that pocket, man. So calm as shit in that pocket, T.Y. I'll take it to the quarter. Let's see if we can build up another back-to-back. -back. See if we can build up another one of them. Another one of them, Doug. Another one of them, Doug. Let's go, Doug. Let's go, Doug. But I ain't gonna lie. This nigga's team is beast as fuck. I didn't think there was niggas with these kind of teams uh, in this rookie second seed thing. Because obviously these are my first Ultimate Team games. Fun fact, I've never like extensively played Ultimate Team until this year. Like the most I've ever done with Ultimate Team is like probably like Madden freaking 12. Because I haven't owned a Madden since Madden 13 actually. Oh, Randall. Oh, if he'd have caught that, it'd have, it was a quit. If he'd have caught that one. D. Third down already. And it's hurry up. I trust my men's. I trust my man to man D. Kendricks. Kendricks. 
Kendricks. Wow, he clicked punt out of rage, and now he's hurrying up. Hey, if I get a stop here, it's a rage quit, and I might call it a wrap for the video because that intro was hella long. Them aggressive catches, man. Hey, keep niggas in the game. I swear is it. I swear is it. That's that's good old EA. You play three downs of tremendous defense, and they bail pussy ass niggas out like this. Niggas who ain't good at the damn game, they get to do shit like that. They get to do shit like that, man. Wow, he not only does he not fumble, but he pushes forward for the first like that on two niggas. Madden keep niggas in the game, I swear. I damn forgot Joey Porter was in this game, honestly. I forgot all about the nigga. Damn. Madden keep niggas in the game. But I bet if I try to aggressive catch with Legend Reed or Amari Cooper, I don't get shit from it. I, I bet my paycheck. I bet a check. I bet the hell out of a check. That's what I've learned about this. You you got to play, like, really... You got to make really good passes. You got to get your own QB's confidence up. And then he can make the nice throws. And then he can be nice with it. Right, Zach? I'll try to get one on him. I'll try it. Damn. I... My lineman can never get out there, bro, I swear. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. I've run this play like eight straight third downs, and this shit hasn't worked that well recently. So, it's an exercise of futility, basically. And it looks like he's running that quarter two-man up. Running all man. No, he ain't. Oh, no, he ain't. Oh, no, he ain't, Carlos. He's not. He's really running court on me. I should... Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him, Doug. Fuck him, Doug. Wow, they really didn't give me that first. I found this one fire play in the Cleveland Browns playbook as I was playing a game last night. And I might uh, use the Cleveland Browns offense, bro. Because whatever play I found, that shit was fire. That shit was fucking fire. You cannot stop drag, so I'll keep going out of bounds on him. That's unnecessary roughness, ref. 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 He's really not stopping my passing offense. That's crazy to me. Everybody's been able to stop my passing offense. With his beast-ass team, he should be stopping me every time. Every time, Zach. Get out of bounds, man. Wow, that's not out of bounds of Madden. And it wouldn't let me call timeout for three seconds because of lag. And he left the middle wide open. That's exactly what you got to do. You got to get him on the outside, and they leave that middle wide the fuck open, man. It's a mind game. You got to think with your brain. You got to think with your head, nigga. That's exactly how you win games of Madden, man. You butter him up on them edges, he leave that middle wide the fuck open. 20 seconds for him left to score. I'm just going to do man three deep. Three safeties, nigga. Fuck the bullshit. You ain't aggressive catching on my dumb ass. And if you run it, you gonna run out of the cl run out of climb. Run out of time. Run out of clock. Two words at the same time. I save time. I'll be the worst battle rapper ever. <laughs> I'm so trash. <laughs> Two men there. Two of them there, man. T Madden. He is double and then later triple covered. Man up three fucking deep. Madden. Stop this fucking madness. Fix your fucking aggressive catch. There's no reason he should catch that. None at all. Wow, I was there. He better drop that. I was there. That's my pick, man. Madden, bro. Damn. Picks. Oh, you have to pick that, man. Let's see if his dumbass is going for it. Let's see if his dumbass is going for it, man. 
Let's see if his dumb monkey ass is going for it, man. Kendricks. Kendricks is there, man. Kendricks is fucking there. Give me that fucking ball, man. Give me the fuck out that ball, man. Give me the fuck out that ball, man. Now, watch Madden do what it does every time in the third quarter when I got the lead. I'm trying to run clock. I'm going to fumble with a 95 carrying rating. I'm a damn... My internet's going to cut out. Goddamn. Everything's going to happen. It's going to be a torrential downpour of shit. And he got Rod Woodson out there. Jesus, this nigga's got a super team. And I'm about to beat his ass. And it's just sad because every year there's some exploit like aggressive catches. Basically, the remodeled, actually marketed by Madden aggressive catches. The new version of the rocket catch. Like, every year, there's some glitch that every nigga is doing. And even with a super team, niggas still can't play fucking football. They still fucking can't. They gotta run bullshit. They gotta go deep. Niggas just can't play Madden no more, bro. That's why I quit this shit for 25 and 15. 15, I had it for a month to gear up to remember what Madden feel like. I got this shit free from Gamefly with a trial, nigga. I only got it just so I could see what 16 would be like because I knew I was going to YouTube for it. Zachary. Or Jimmy. Or Jimmy. Or Jimmy, man. 12 for 13. That's a Tyrod Taylor looking ass stat. This is why I don't play on a fucking weekend because that's when these damn kids still in... Man Whoa. That is crazy lag. Is he really lag switching on me, bruh? Don't you fucking tell me my man's is lag switching. Don't you tell me I'm still not getting anybody blocking on those fucking screens with one fucking person, bruh. But yeah, I don't play on a fucking weekend because it's shit like this. You ain't got damn respectable people playing this game. You got little ass kids playing this fucking game. No way he jumps up there, bruh. No fucking way. Like, look at that shit, man. I just gotta stop aggressive catches. I ain't going for it. He gotta go 98 yards on me, and I know 70 of them gonna come from an aggressive catch. Unless we get another pick. And I'm on you, Elway, if you run. I swear it. I swear it. Pick it. Seriously, Madden, this game is completely unplayable. I, I, I don't know what more they want me to do and like this guy has no offense besides throwing it up to Calvin fucking Johnson he's running that same one play over and over and I'm going quarter on him and I have a corner a Leon Hall captain and Devin McCourty on him good sack Williams he's really about to go 98 yards now just because of you just letting aggressive catches happen consistently. Like, over and motherfucking over. Somebody ca Thank you, Landry. Thank you, Landry. And, of course, my guy wouldn't get out the way so I could actually return that. I would test him with Graham with that much separation, but... I like running the clock. I like running the clock, Doug. I like running the fuck out the motherfucking clock, Doug. How did he catch my fucking ankles like that with Dwight fucking Freeney? I should test him deep, but I'm not even going to, man. I stick to my game plan. I stick to my monkey fucking game plan. Of course, I get stuck on a fucking block. He's not because he's just backing up. Wow. Are you serious? I bet you my Kendricks doesn't make that play. One more bout of aggressive catches, man. Can we fucking stop it? That's the big ass monkey fucking question here. And you know he's going deep first try. And I'm pass committing like every time. Kendricks, man. I told you my Kendricks don't make those plays apparently. I told you they don't make those plays, man. Two downs and no yards, man. Do we got it in us? And he's going deep. And he's going deep. Come on, somebody, bruh. Some fucking body, bruh. One more stop, bruh. One more incompletion, bro. One more. 
I'm not even playing with him. I'm going Dom, even though he's got that personnel. Let's fuck him. I knew it was run, but fuck him. Oh, oh. Fuck him. Quit on me. I know you the type to quit. I know you the type to fucking quit on my bitch ass. I know you the fucking type, bruh. I know you the fucking type, bruh. I know the fuck out your game, bruh. I know you the fucking type to quit, man. Happy fucking Thanksgiving. Sweet Christmas, Luke Cage. And of course, by quitting like that, that late, I don't get all the coins I'm supposed to. Because that's obviously broken in Madden system as well for online. But yeah, man. First round by and get a trophy for it, man. All in one seed, man. Let's go, man. Give me them extra coins, man. Fuck this guy. You play this nigga with the username, you know his fucking name now. Oh, I just straight up skipped those games. It, it skips them for me. I didn't know that. I thought I actually had to play those just because. Wow. I can just straight up go to the playoffs now. Cool. Okay. Next video will be the divisional round. And yeah. Wow. Great start. Porter, he didn't do that much, I guess. So his purpose is only the thumbnail <laughs> to get people to watch this dumbass video. But yeah, he did it against the Steelers, got the win in his first game and set me to the playoffs, man. And this looks like the team I'm taking into the playoffs. I'm probably going to add one more and it's going to be to replace one of these golds or Jameis Winston. And I don't know because Winston that game, he was looking hella strong for me right there. I still didn't use Reed or Cooper that much. But yeah, man, what a solid win. Still rambling for those 30 seconds at the end, but we did it, man. That was a quick little game, too. I knew he was a type to quit. If he's the type to hurry up and aggressive catch, he's a type to quit. It all, it, it's all correlated. And it's correlated with the weekends when these damn little ass kids are like grown, sad ass, grown ass men are goddamn sitting in at home without work or school to go to. That's when it happens, man. That's when they get their bitch ass on. That's when them kept their losses against me, man. Great win, yo. I see y'all in the playoffs. Peace. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Back to Madden. And right here, you see obviously on the screen already. Okay, no, stop it. <laughs>